Oh, hey. Traveling Troy here. Welcome to truck build video number three. The bed build. Before we get started on this bed build, let me give a little background on this particular bed. Uh, the framing and all that. Um, my dad built this back in 2015. He spent about two weeks off and on in his spare time building this bed. Um, he accumulated all the parts, all the measurements, all the cuts, and did all the work on it. And it was he built it for my Astro van, which I lived in the Astro van and slept on that bed for over eight years. And uh, well, when we went to look at the Astro van, as we're starting to make this build, and we looked at the Astro van, we noticed that the bed was still in pretty good shape. There was some hardware that needed to be replaced, and we're going to do that, or we have done that already. Um, but that bed. I don't know, it was, uh, it was like a quality build, and we decided that why spend the time building another one? Why spend the money building another one? This one just works perfectly fine. So we pulled it out of the van and we put it into the truck. Well, the van's eight feet long, the cargo area is eight feet long, and the truck is only six and a half. It would fit in the truck, but we're dealing with a matter of about an inch and a half to fit in this nice, perfect little cutout inside the truck so we decided to slim back the bed or uh, the length of the bed by about an inch and a half which means uh, the actual sleeping area would be cut down from six foot exactly to like you know five ten and a half something like that so I made the curl the legs up just a bit to be able to fit in there but I think it's gonna be fine because it fits nice in the in the bed of the truck and uh, we got to reuse uh, something my dad built for me and uh, I think it's cool to, you know, put it back, put it into the truck and continue it on. And maybe it'll go on my next uh, build down the road. Who knows? So the bed can be broken down into two pieces, the supporting framework and the actual sliding mechanism of the bed. This is the support and we have a new board there, as you can see. These are new support boards for both the front and the back of the bed. And here's a look at the top side of the sliding bed mechanism. And here's a bottom look at the sliding bed. So here's a look at the structure again with the new board. And then we have that backboard secured to the wall. And notice these clamps that, that are clamping down the shell, the top are right here. You see these clamps? We decided those things are probably going to get in the way of the bed. In the van, we use these aluminum rails to hold things in under the bed. But in this new setup, we've lowered the bed down, so I don't believe we need these rails anymore to hold things in. So here we've combined both the bottom support piece and the upper sliding piece together to see how things are fitting. And notice how the clamps are probably going to be in the way of the bed or the mattress. So we're thinking about what we're going to do there. And there's my tub, it's about nine inches tall and it slides in and out of the bed perfectly. Here's the bed in the open position. It slides out to a maximum of 36 inches wide and then contracts back down to 24 inches wide. As you can see here, we still have some of the old flat brackets on and we're looking to replace those with maybe three inch wide brackets in the future. My truck comes with five pre-drilled holes along the bed rail here. So we decided to go ahead and drill through the topper as well and bolt down the topper instead of using the clamps. And here's a look at the bottom. We've got a washer on top, a washer on bottom and a shake proof nut on the bottom to secure it. And here's the bedside of the topper, five bolts, 10 washers and five shake proof nuts and here's the new mattress i'll be placing in the bed i bought this from amazon it is 36 inches wide and 72 inches long it's got a one inch gel topper with a three inch medium firm foam and it has a nice organic cotton cover here and here's a look at the bottom of the mattress this cover unzips and you can wash this cover 
and it protects the foam on the inside. And here's a look at the one inch gel foam topper along with the three inch medium firm foam. Ah, look at that, we've got a bed. It rolled out of the bag, it was all compressed in a bag, it rolled out, I put it in there and it kind of grew right into place. Pretty awesome. And look at all that headroom above the mattress since cutting those legs back a little bit shorter. Nice. Now here's a look at the bed in couch position. It's in the 24 inch, it's currently pushed back to 24 inches wide. So the rest of the bed now folds up to the side of the topper. And a good thing we moved those clamps because they would definitely be in the way and could possibly damage the mattress. So why don't I show you the process to get the bed back up into couch mode. You basically grab the corners, push it with your leg, tuck it in, and now we've got a couch. No sleeping on the job, Troy. We've got work to do. Now let's see the process of pulling the bed out. Pretty simple. Just grab it kind of in the middle, pull it out all the way, and then tuck the mattress in. Now, like I said, this is a close fit. The mattress is supposedly about 36 inches wide by 72, 72 inches long, and the bed is 36 inches wide at max by about 71 or so. Well, you guys remember the van, right? My little Astro van, camper van? Well, I decided to take the van out for a little uh, drive around the lake today to get it out and show some appreciation for the vehicle that's uh that i've been sleeping in for the past eight years well here's the uh kind of the lake we'll look at the lake here and and here's the van but what i want to show you today is if you remember my porta potty uh, some of the places i've visited there but it, we have a little hidden porta potty in here, right? So that was my porta potty, and then on top of here, there's a de there's a desk platform, and these slides uh, allowed it to slide out. If I can get it started, yeah, allowed the platform to slide out. And I had this little sliding desk, and inside here was storage. But in a previous video, I told you that inside my van, I have some hidden storage locations that I hide, you know, valuables and stuff. And uh, I just wanted to show you one of those and kind of give you an example of what you could do. Okay, so here's my porta potty. There's the storage right there. So the thing is, what we did is we made kind of a false bottom here, okay? There's a gap underneath here. So between the porta potty, between the top of the porta potty and this desk, there's this little opening in here. How do we access that? Well, we got this little cutout here. It's kind of off center right now, but we got this little board here. It's cracked, and a couple of them are cracked, so it looks normal. Uh, like there's one cracked over there, so it looks normal for a cracked board, but this particular one snaps off. And inside here, I would I would store my uh, my, my tablet, um, cameras, and other things inside here. And I guess it's about three inches or so. Uh, and it goes pretty deep. But the way we did it is we had magnets. The magnets stuck right there. So you just kind of put your stuff in there. It's hard to do one hand in. Then you put the board up like that. Pretty slick. Well, thanks for watching another Travel Troy video. Uh, please like subscribe and hey why don't you share the video and leave some comments my dad thinks he can take me in a game of tennis so uh, we're gonna play a set or two and and see who's better so take it easy and thanks for watching the videos i really appreciate it